The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to use Keysight in Westlaw Next. Keysight helps you determine whether a case, statute, administrative decision, or regulation is good law. You can also use Keysight to retrieve citing references to the document you are keysighting. These citing references can include cases, administrative materials, secondary sources, briefs, and other court documents. For this video, we will focus on using Keysight for cases. You can access the Keysight report in Westlaw Next using three methods. First, using the search bar at the top of the screen, you can type either KC in your citation, or you can type Keysight in your citation. Choose the one that's easiest for you to remember. Once you enter that, click Search to access the Keysight report. The second and third way to access a Keysight report is once you are viewing a document. While viewing a document, you can either click on the Keysight symbol located at the top of the case, or you can click on the tabs that are located at the top of the case titled Negative Treatment, History, or Citing References. The Negative Treatment tab displays negative direct history and negative citing references for your case. The History tab provides the history of the case. The left column includes the direct history of your case through the appellate process and related references of cases that involve the same parties or facts of your case. You can limit the direct history display by clicking on the View drop-down. You can also view a graphical display of the case history in the right column. Citing references includes a list of cases, administrative materials, secondary sources, briefs, and other court documents that have cited your case. To change the order of the results, use the Sort By drop-down at the top of the page. The default is to have the sources in order by depth of treatment. To narrow the list of citing references, you can type terms in the Search Within Results text box in the left column, or click a document type in the left column. For each document type, such as cases, you will be able to further narrow your list of results by different criteria, such as jurisdiction and date. Once you have selected a single or multiple filters, click Apply Filters to display your results. To enter a document, click on the hyperlinked document name. To return to the Keysight report, hit back on your web browser. If at any time you forget what one of the symbols in Keysight means, you can click on Help at the bottom of the screen, Documentation, Using Keysight, and Viewing Keysight Information for a Case. This will provide you with more information on what each of the Keysight signals mean. That is it for your overview of Keysight in Westlaw Next.